Well, for those who are not here in, in Pittsburgh, um, I'll start off by, by saying that, man, Oakland is good as good as advertised. I mean, he is, Greg's done a great job with that program. And, um, you know, this is a tough, hard fought, you know, feel like a, a boxing match. Um, our, our guys were tremendous. Um, you know, it was a back and forth game. Um, we bent a little bit, but we never broke. Uh, we made big plays when we had to have big plays. Uh, I thought one of the biggest things for us is our character really shined through when we needed it. Um, you know, we stepped up in many ways. We had to get big stops. We had to get big baskets. Uh, at times, things weren't going our way. Um, and it just, it just shows you the growth of, you know, obviously this team and how they're locked in and their focus and, um, you know, their love for one another and how they play for one another. Um, it's been very impressive. This run that we, we've been on, it, it's really, really good. And it, all the credit has to go to the hard work that they put in. And obviously, they're receiving the uh, fruits of their label because of that. So excited about our, our guys. Um, you know, we're, we're going to the Sweet 16, guys. I mean, and, th and this was a team that, you know, most people didn't think we could even make it out of, um, you know, uh, D.C. last weekend or a couple weekends. I don't know how long it's been. But I'm proud of their fight. I'm proud of, um, you know, just who they are and how we have really grown as a team. Uh, Colby Trotter, technician. Obviously, Casey said earlier it was a team effort to guard Jack Olkey tonight. What did you think of how your guys did? I know it's a hard job chasing that guy around. And you limited, to, limited him to a decent amount of shots. He just made most of them. So what did you think of, the, of their job? Well, he's dangerous. And you, you, ha you got to pay so much attention to him. And then when you look at the fact that, you know, Trey Townsend is really good. So they've got a kind of a, you know, inside out punch with those two guys who could really shoot the basketball. And I mean, what he's done in the last couple of days is simply impressive. You know, um, I want to say, what am I, 16 threes in two days. And so you got to pay so much attention to him. And, and here's what makes him really special is they know that he can shoot the ball. And so they do a great job of running a lot of plays for him and running off of stagger screens and, you know, trying to get elevator screens for him. And I thought our guys did a really good job. You know, we knew that we couldn't stop him from taking threes, but we wanted to make him make, take tough threes and shoot a bad percentage. And I thought we did a great job with that. Brooke, front right. Brooke Pryor, ESPN. Kevin, in addition to DJ having 24 points, I think you had four other scores and double figures. Just what does that say about the balance of your offense and the way that these guys kind of complement what DJ's doing down low? You know, that's the strength of our team. And at one point, it wasn't. You know, we were, you know, early on, it was either DJ Horn or maybe um, JT could have a good night. I think, you know, one of the things, if you ask and you look back at those the seven games that we won in a row, is I think that everyone has really stepped up in different ways. And, you know, every night there's someone else. Um, you know, DJ Horn, I mean, DJ Burns was great tonight. Um, you know, I thought Michael, even though he might not have impacted the game as much with his scoring, he had a career high in assist at eight. And so that's kind of what makes us special right now. That makes us tough to guard because on any given night, one of these guys can lead us in scoring. Front left. Charlie Gribble, 24-7 Sports. Coach, talk about... Um, just how crucial it was losing DR and Middlebrooks there in the overtime period and the decision to sub in Jay and Taylor, who had a big three in those closing minutes. Yeah, we were running out of players. I looked around. I was going to put Levi Watkins in at one point. Uh, we needed another post guy. Uh, you know, we had some calls that didn't go our way. And, and I told you before, like I said earlier, Trey Townsend had a great game. I mean, 30 points and 13 rebounds, and he is as good as advertised. Uh, but it, it got tough at the end because we didn't have anyone else that we could throw in the game. And so we decided to go four guards. And it actually helped us on the offensive end because um, Jaden Taylor was able to knock down that three in the corner. Back left aisle. Mike Osti, Yard Barker in Pittsburgh Sports Now. Coach, what does it say or do you have any message to the rest of the country about the conference, about the ACC, just for the fact that so much is made on which conference is better and it's impossible really to equate, especially in a tournament like March Madness, but you struggled for a while in January, February, and yet you're here in the Sweet 16 and the ACC kind of had a rough road to getting teams in the tournament this year. Yeah, I think it's been a common theme for three years and, and it's crazy because when we do, meaning we as uh, the ACC, we get teams in the, in the tournament, the few five that we're getting in pretty much play pretty well. 
And so we tried to send that message early on before we got to Selection Sunday that we play well once we get in the tournament. Um, but we got to figure it out. Uh, our league is really good. You know, one of the reasons why we're playing good basketball is because we're battle-tested. You know, a lot of times um, – a lot is put on the non-conference. You play 11 games. So let's say we play five or six power five games and then we have five or six bye games. They're good. They'll challenge you. But you can't tell me that that's more challenging than playing 20 ACC games and playing at great venues, Pittsburgh, as you're here, and going to different places and being battle-tested. So we got to figure it out. Um, we're deserving. You know, we're, our, our league's going to go to 18 teams, and I think we should be able to get 10 teams in. And that's up to us as coaches. We got to figure out, you know, do we need to win more games in November? How do you schedule? We got to do a lot of different things. But we got a great league. I think it's the best league in college basketball. Back to Brooke. DJ, DJ said earlier that he made the choice to not get in his feelings when fouls weren't being called. He's getting hacked down low. Is that something that he's always been able to do, or has he evolved as a player to be able to not get in his feelings and play through those circumstances? You know, he's, he's probably – it's so tough to referee him, and he probably gets fouled more than anybody. And I'm not saying these officials or any other officials. Um, so he's got no choice. You know, very seldom do you see him get to the free throw line when you could make a case that every other possession that he touches the basketball – he gets fouled. And so we've talked about the maturity of it. It's like, what are you going to do? I mean, you, you, know, you don't like it and get a technical foul. Just move on and just play through contact. And I think that's where he's matured. And it, it didn't happen just this year. It started last year. And then he's matured to the point where he's like, I'm not going to get any calls. Just play through all contact. That's going to be the last question right here, Red Isle. Bailey Tucker, College Basketball Review. Coach, since you guys were the 10th seed in the ACC tournament, where do you think that your team has grown the most between now and then? You talk about since we were the 10th seed in the ACC, I just think we, we've come together. It, like, we, we've been a good team all year long. We just hadn't stacked games. We hadn't stacked opportunities. Uh, you think about, you know, I, a lot of people put so much into our last four games. And they didn't talk about our first six games. We were five and one. We had a tough schedule. And when we look back at it, it wasn't so much uh, about the teams that we played, which were very good, is what we didn't do. You look at those four games, we were in all of those games to have the opportunity to win them. Um, and I just think we just, we have cut down on our mistakes. And most of them are on the defensive end. This team can score the basketball. But defensively, we, you know, we were, a, we were a mess at times. We, ball screen coverage wasn't well. Um, uh, our assistant coaches have done a great job with scouting. Uh, we wasn't doing a great job of comprehending scouting reports, and now we're doing it. And I think the, one of the biggest things is we believe and trust in one another. You know, they, if you're not having a good night, then they, you got to trust your brother beside you. And I think that's one of the things that we matured in.